right from the very beginning, River Valley Market started a compost and a recycling program through alternative recycling. It's part of our daily routine, so if we've got any shrink or waste to compost that's not good for survival center or a soup kitchen, uh, that could just go right into the compost. Uh, even if we're, we're washing our hands or whatever, um, you know, even paper products, if it's light paper, that can go right in there. That's all gonna break down when they, when they uh, uh, work this out in the field. It doesn't create more work. It's um, basically part of our routine. We, we take this out when it's pretty much full and we either save this for local farmers that might need it for chickens or pigs. A lot of people even just uh, compost it uh, themselves at their house. That saves us uh, having to pay to have it taken away. But if people don't take it, uh, then it uh, goes right into our uh, compost compactor. Any of our uh, plastic uh, containers that are no longer of use, uh, those can go right into a recycle bin. We just keep a simple bucket back here. So all plastics can go in there, clamshell packaging, uh, things like that. We might fill a 55 gallon barrel uh, a few times a day. That's, that's about our average day for uh, produce compost. Um, other ways we're reducing uh, packaging that's coming in to start with is uh, farmers using reusable containers like this. Uh, they can just keep using that plastic container. That's one of our local farms we deal with a lot. Uh, another simple way is uh, if you've got uh, tomatoes available from one farm and it's in a plastic container, uh, why get that when we've got uh, biodegradable containers that we've always used uh, that customers are going to be happy to buy as well. We get many calls from customers, uh, just people that uh, shop here all the time for us to save them boxes uh, and, and also to save compost for their chickens. Normally a lot of businesses such as ours, a, a food store or a large uh, business, anything that generates waste, a lot of times they'll have a compactor attached to their building when they throw their trash in and it'll compact to a smaller size so that it's easier to manage. We have a compactor that's for compost. So that particular compost, it gets compacted, but that compost is brought um, to a, a facility that has a very, very high heat. Other businesses could do something very similar by taking their existing compactor and converting it into a composter and then having a small dumpster which would take care of the rest of their trash. This box here is actually going to go back to the farmers. Um, we, a lot of them go right back to the farmers. They're nice and clean and everything else. But when they do get dirty or damaged, the wax boxes, which many businesses end up having to throw into their, their dumpster and then goes into the landfill, we actually can compost and that ends up at Martin's Farm in Greenfield, Massachusetts. It does work great and it is a sealed system so we don't have juices flowing. One thing we do have to maintain though is we have to maintain the system uh, as far as cleanliness. It has to be kept clean or of course we could have other issues with, um, with insects and possibly because the compactor is on the outside of the building we do have mice coming down from the cliff so we have to be careful and aware of that. We also put some traps around just to make sure. I don't have any um, hard numbers on what the cost would be to have this sent to the landfill and have what it would actually cost us. But our dumpster, our regular dumpster, they empty twice a week. If we were not composting, they would have to empty that dumpster every day. That would be seven days a, a week. And I'm, I'm sure the price would at least triple, if not quadruple. Um, if this was going into the landfill, it would be quite expensive. We encourage people to try to use um, regular wear, regular stainless wear. First of all, I'd like to explain that this is a corn compostable cup that River Valley Market uses. It's, um, many people mistake it for being recyclable, but it's actually a compostable corn cup. The same thing goes with our utensils. These are called Green Wave but there are a few different brands out there on the market. We do have to beware because some green plastics claim to be biodegradable and they're not compostable, they're biodegradable. So it's important to make sure you know the difference. Some things they go to the meat renderer, which is in our meat department. We would take the meat scraps, the fats and things like that that are compostable. They can go in the compost, but we send them to a meat renderer because it's better and the compost breaks down faster and easier. One of the hardest things at River Valley Market is trying to educate people on where to put the proper things. Uh, many times people will think that 
um, this is a plastic so it's going to go in the trash or this is uh, a plastic that will go in recycling but in reality these are both compostables. So we, that's a continuing thing is the education here. Many of our vendors and people that manufacture products that we use here at River Valley Market, they do send their products with, with materials, plastic bubble wraps, things such as that, uh, the styrofoam peanuts. So there are a lot of things that these people can do. One thing is to use the starch peanuts, which are biodegradable and break down. The big plastic wraps um, that they use, and they pump air into them, I have seen them coming through now with biodegradable plastics on the wraps. We try to encourage people to bring their own bags. So we have a program here at River Valley Market where people bring their bags. There's a little yellow stamp card that we stamp um, for their bags. And when the card is filled up, that card is worth a dollar. This is our, our copier, uh, which goes through many, many copies. And right next to it, our recycle bin. We have the <coughs> recycling bin here, and we have the small trash bin. In this particular pile, everyone knows to put scrap paper here when they don't use it, and when they need scrap paper, you can come by there and reuse it. Recycling Works is a business and institutional recycling and composting assistance program that we provide under contract to the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection and allows us to provide a range of services to businesses throughout Massachusetts. We have a website that has a range of resources available from how-to documents, regulatory information, case studies about successful programs, as well as a geographically searchable database that can connect you with service providers and haulers to recycle or compost a range of materials.